Okay, hi. Um, I'm making this tutorial just so that it's like a kind of like part two to my last tutorial. But yeah, so uh, this is gonna be how to make like the rays and like make like you like a, a perfect looking like morph between you and the alien. So to do this, you are going to need to watch my last tutorial. But yeah, so what you're gonna need first is this like kind of clip. Now you wanna edit the entire video in like another software, or you can have like parts edited in this software, it doesn't matter. But you wanna have the complete video. And I mean complete video because you can make it so that in the middle of the video it like shows the army tricks opening up, you choose the alien and then it cuts back to you like this. That's basically what you want. So yeah. And then boom, yeah. Okay, so you want to basically do this. So that you have like your entire video. But at the end, you want to like leave like a little tiny like five seconds or something of you like just, just normal. And you want to cut it so that here... Now this is on Node Video Pro. I will leave a APK a download in the description, and I will be, and you will need a program called Time Cuts. I will leave a link for it in the description as well. So you basically want to make your video like this, but you want to make it so that at the end here you want to make it so that you're gonna go to Root and turn on this thing and have your background image and put it right about like at the end you can see it will like snap to here once I put it now it's a little bit small so I might just like just like um, make it just a tiny as a teeny bit bigger there we go and yeah you can have this in the like original video right here but yeah so you wanna have that and then you're gonna go so you got your entire video, but we'll, but the only thing is that you're gonna leave out the alien. So you, like transform, it's gonna cut to just the just the background. And you wanna take the part where you hit the omnitrix, and right there, you're gonna take the video and cut it. So now you have like the you can like scroll down with this thing right here. Now you have the part where you uh, like smack the omnitrix. And then you just want to take the original video and make it long to like, like snaps to this video. I'm going to make that video in front. I'm going to make the background image back. So yeah, right here, you want to go here. You're going to click add the plus button basically. Then you're going to go mask human matting. And that should make it so that you have like, just like this like if I go and make this a low you can see it's basically kind of like me so it doesn't work that well which is why we added this video in the back and then what you're gonna do you're gonna click add asset store raise and then with this raise I'm gonna make it so that right here boom I'm gonna go and just going to go to amount Go to the beginning of this video, right here. Like it's beginning. Right about here. And then at the end. And I'll also add a keyframe. You can add keyframes to like by clicking on the amount and then clicking on the plus right here. And yeah, so you wanna make it so that at the beginning it will be a zero and at the end it will be like one. So you're gonna go to the threshold and you're gonna click on one of the on the last keyframe and then add a keyframe so that they're in the exact same spot. Same as this first keyframe. So to make it so that at first it's actually going to be one. And yeah, and uh, the last you can like increase it on whatever you want. And you can do the same thing for the brightness. So yeah, make it here, it'll be like pretty low. Here it'll be pretty bright. You just want to change the color from white to green. So there we go. 
yeah okay now what you want to do after that is then you want to actually like click on the three dots right there you're gonna click copy that's gonna be really useful for later so yeah you made the first half of it now time for the second half which is gonna be 3d camera now this is basically my last tutorial so I'm not gonna say anything about it because it's just the same as my last tutorial so let's say I want to transform into upgrade why not sure uh, where I first? so yeah I will leave a link for my last tutorial in the description just in case so yeah uh, I'm just looking for it. Okay, there it is. So let's say oh, I said I wanted to transform to upgrade, right? Um, upgrade, let's do this one. Sure, this animation is pretty good. Okay, and I would like upgrade because it doesn't have any, any like actual like textures, it's just right on him. So yeah, it's pretty good. A little bit, and, and yeah, it goes pretty small. Um, I'm just gonna copy this, then I'm gonna paste it here, and I'm going to paste it here, and I'm just going to squish it a bit. So, yeah, not that much. And yeah, so I'm basically done. I'll just like move him so that he's about my size. And yeah, so there we go. That's where you want him to be. Go to custom model, material, and I'm gonna change the lighting to like about what it was in the video. Maybe like this, so I'm gonna increase the reflection a bit. It uh, looks pretty good. Now I might actually add to the camera like a little like color correction basic color correction there we go that looks pretty good okay and then you're gonna go back to the camera make sure you're selecting the camera not the custom model when you're adding anything like color correction or what we're, or we're about to do right now I'm gonna go asset store I'm gonna go raise again but this time you're gonna click on the three dots three like uh, dashes lines and then I'm gonna click paste now this is the same as the one before but what you want to do is instead of making it the same as one before you're just gonna go like about like here maybe where you want the ray to end you're gonna place uh, the last keyframe of all of them in the same spot right here and not this one there we go but you want to make it so that it's actually the opposite you want to make it so that at the brightness it will actually be zero here here and actually it's going to be pretty high here and the same with the threshold you want to make it actually pretty big here i'm going to make it small here you want to make it like a one same with the amount here it's going to be a zero here it's going to be about like this. There we go. So now, if you check it, you're gonna see it like goes down like that. It does have some glitches, like where it like goes there, but it just it's pretty fast, so it's not gonna really show up. So if you like make it so that the keyframes are like go pretty fast, that's barely gonna be noticeable, and you can cut it in the video too and like when you're done editing the entire video and you're done you can like go back and just like cut it so yeah so there we go and yeah i can check it yeah that looks pretty good okay so then we want to just add some animation to him so animation I actually forgot to do this in the last video with Arctic Wana at the end, but yeah, now I'm remembering, so I'm just gonna add some animations. So there we go. I think that might be good. Let's see if it's enough. Let's see. 
it is not moving too fast or too slow, so I think that's pretty good. And yeah, but we just want it so that when you just want, first of all, you're gonna make it so that this camera, you by going to the root, you're gonna move it so that it's like at the same spot as the background image. So yeah, we go. You know, I'm actually I, I actually might just uh, remove that and just like lower the exposure on tone. Yeah, that might look pretty realistic, I think. It looks like it's actually there, just because the background image is a little bit darker. But yeah, and I think that the lighting was actually wrong. I think that it's like coming from the middle, room up. Like about right here, maybe. Yeah, I think that's where it looks good. Okay, so there we go. You're done with your video. You got everything done, and boom. You just want to make sure that the, like, this... It's like a background image is the exact same size as your camera. And it ends at the same time. And now we're basically done. But there's just one tiny itty bitty problem. It is that this. You go, you click the matrix. Yes, you transform and all that. But it just cuts. Which is pretty which is pretty noticeable. So to fix that, you're first going to export, so I'm just going to cut this, but yeah, basically just export the video now. Okay, so once you've done export the clip, you're going to open up TimeKit. And you're going to go and click on the Pro Speed Adjustment. Then you're going to get the clip that you just exported. Right there. There we go. This should, uh, this should look something like this. You can add, like, like I said, you can add like holograms. And so you can add like a part where it shows the Omnitrix and then you go through the aliens and then so anything like that. So yeah, and yeah. Then you're gonna go and click on the check mark. Gonna go make sure it's original. Like the, choose your video format, it's on the original. Click next. And you're gonna see this like down here, it's gonna say something like, it said, it's gonna say smooth. It's gonna be off. You wanna click on it to turn it on. I'm gonna go here to curve, and you basically want to go to the point where it cuts between you and upward. So that's about here. I'm gonna add, click on the plus to add a beat. And basically, just like bring this down and just look for like the part where you can see it kind of like I kind of like morph between. Like upgrade like it's about right here I think yeah okay then you want to basically get the nearest two like beats or you can add the two beats if they're not pretty pretty close and you want to just get like this one and like push it and you'll see like it'll end at, like pretty close to that other beat you want to make sure that it's the closest thing you can get to one if it's fine if it's like 116 or something, it's not really gonna affect it that much. I wanna go here. Okay. I just thought of that a bit. And yeah, okay. And now you can see that when I hit this, I do like slowly turn into him, into upgrade, but it's like way too slow. So you can like change it from all the way down to like a bit up. Like maybe like here, maybe good. You can see, you can play with it, do it, you know, uh, yeah, maybe around here, that might be good, okay, uh, so, yeah, I think that might be good, now, you have to know that uh, time cuts while you're previewing it, it kind of, like, lags a bit, but yeah, you can, like, cycle through instead of previewing it. So yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna click on this like export icon. You can do in whatever f uh, like quality you want. And then export, and yeah, and that's uh, about it. You're just gonna wait for it to save. But one thing you should know is that after you're done with the video and all that, you can still like add stuff to it. You can like. Let's say in the video you had the Omnitrix 
it die all you twisted it it cut to you like the omnitrix with like the icon like opening up and then you choose the aliens or you have it a hologram or whatever then you click and then you added that in with this uh, tutorial method for this tutorial you can still add stuff to it like with this video that I'm going to export right now I can still like take it to another editing program or the original editing program that I used to make the first clip and then just like adding like sound effects or whatever I want to it so yeah that looks pretty good so yeah that's uh, that's about it bye